ladies and gentlemen, Ray McGuff. Hello, America, or just people I know on Facebook. So we decided to do a little program, and uh, luckily I have friends in high places, and so they want to put my face out there, which I kind of not on agreement with. I think I have more of a face for radio, but that's neither here nor there. What I'd like to do today, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a format. Eventually, we're gonna have quite a few guests. We're gonna do uh, you know little talks here and there about uh, politics, anything pretty much current events, you know, foreign, domestic, that kind of thing. But what I wanted to do is just break it down for you here. Here's a little bit of what my average day is. I drive to work, and on my drive there, I have to stop myself from murdering everyone. I can't stand our society. So this, they've given me a forum to basically air my grievances. And because I have access to the enter tubes, uh, you're gonna listen to every word I have to say. And if you don't want to, then I'm sure you'll find a kitty cat or some shit to watch because you're all a bunch of mouth breathers. So here's what I'm gonna do first off. I wanna explain in the simplest terms possible my uh, political views because I, you guys may ask me, hey, Randy, what's your political views? And I would say, um, boy, I'd go into detail and it would take an hour. And then you would sit there with your mouth agape and you'd probably go, oh, boy, I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, I think, you know, I think he's crazy. So let me let me break it down with some visual aids. <clears throat> Here we have the Democratic Party. Yeah, this is our president. He is stern and he knows what he wants and... Nobody can handle it because he's not the same color as they are, so they're all mad about him. Oh, my God. But he's the leader of the free world, and you're not. So, yeah. All right, so that's my view. Democrats strong. Dem Dem Democrats strong. 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 Now, some, some people may say, oh, the Democrats aren't strong. Well, <laughs> to that I would say, listen, our president went in and shot Osama bin Laden in the face. He didn't personally do it, but he ordered the hit, much like a mafia boss. So I would think that he's got quite a bit of power. <laughs> all right? So don't argue with me on that one. All right. Up next, the Republican Party. And who do we have? Well, we've got Locutus of the Borg. That's right. They are a hive mind that wants to strip mine the world. All right. They want to destroy everything that you love and hold dear. This is, these are the Republicans. They want to come to your house and make you watch the same shows that they love. They don't want you to write, have free thoughts and write books, though. Books are bad. Watch live TV. You know, resistance is futile, okay? That's their slogan. And no matter what anybody says, this is what they want. They want you to be a fucking robot. They want you to be a hive mind, a collective. No free thought, no free thinking. All this, just a robot, another cog in the wheel. All right? So that's what, I, that's what I'm opposed against. So that doesn't matter, okay? So Congress is made up of, you know, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, all right? So any of those people can be part of the, it, you know, Locutus wasn't always the Borg. He was a starship captain, all right? And they came in and they grabbed him up and they made him a fucking robot, all right? So that's what I'm saying. Don't become a robot. Free thought. So that's that in a nutshell. I made it simple. Visual aids for you. Uh, I hope you get a little bit of sense of what I'm about, which most of you are probably scratching your head and you think you're, oh, you know, Ray's even crazier than I thought he was. Well, that may be the case, but I think that I'm the only sane man left in America. <laughs> We're gonna take some calls. Let's see who's on the line. All right. Yeah, I will speak to Ray McGuff. Ah, uh, you got him. Call this number here. Got somebody gave me this number at the grocery store. I figured out. Okay. You got the call. Uh, yeah, I'll speak to Ray. Ray. Uh, this is this is Ray. Ray, this Hello, you're on the air. Okay. You're you're on the air. What's up? Speak. I got a question for you. Okay. I've had this one running around in my head for years. Mm -hmm. All right. My uncle told me about it. His uncle told him about it. The uncle after that told him about it. And then the uncle after that told him about it's it. A lot of uncles. Uncle that, it's a big family. Okay. What what is the question? Now here's the question. If aliens landed in front of you, and in exchange for <laughs> anything you desired, anything in the world, okay, you any position on their planet, what would you want? Wow, that's a, that's Thank you very much. Thank that, that's you. a Thank deep question. Well, well, don't don't hang up. Well, you want to hear the answer? And I'll go ahead and hang up. And uh, <laughs> no, don't hang up. Uh, what, you want to answer the damn alien question, right? Yeah, 
Hello? Uh, all right, I, that we lost that call. I would say president of the intergalactic fleet. I, that, I mean, I don't know. What, what are you thinking, Franklin? Um, I, I guess I would want to be uh, in charge of the military. Yeah, uh, that's what... Uh, Oh, okay. Get your fucking shit on this well, well, uh, well, I guess <laughs> I didn't know we were on to you yet, sir. Yeah, I guess we're on to the next <laughs> question. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's no need for that language. There might be children here. <laughs> okay, I think you've dialed the wrong number. I think he, I think he's talking to his wife. Oh. Oh, so what would he pocket dial this while he's beating his wife? Well, that's very hard in County. Just like you. I fucking hate everything. I hate it. Okay, cool. I agree. Telephones. <laughs> okay. I thought I'd give Ray a call. I got a question. Okay. Always wanted to know the answer to. Okay. What's the question? That's not nice. Get the hell out of here. I'm talking to Ray. Well, well, you fucking bathroom or something. Get your hair done or something. Okay. Uh, what, what I would... Anyway, here's what I gotta ask you. Okay. If Hollywood made a movie about your life, who would you like to see play the lead role as you? That's what I wanna know. Boy, that... <laughs> that's a good question. That is a good question. I would go with uh, probably Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, I'm glad. I need to rest. Acting wise, I'd like to see, an, uh, and let's say my whole life spans. Let's say I live eighty years. I'd like to see Tommy Lee Jones play me. But let, let's let's be real. <laughs> By the time that happens, he'll probably be hundred and eighty years old. So that means he's dead. Well, so I, I don't know. Let's say pick somebody young. Yeah, let's go somebody young. Uh, you know that Tatum, that Tatum O'Neill. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that a chick? Yeah, it's just oh, like, yo. What's that kid's name that was in uh, uh, freaking... Uh, what was that stupid G.I. Joe movie? What's his name? Tatum? Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt? No, not Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Tatum Levitt. Channing? Tatum Channing. Tatum uh, O'Neill, Tatum Channing. Too many uh, Tatums, yeah. that's what I got to say. <laughs> Tatum Channing. <laughs> yes. All right, so we, answer, all right. we answered that crazy <laughs> man's question with a crazy answer. Well... <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, let's get another phone call on the line here. All right. You've got Ray. What's up? All right. Okay. I don't go to nightclubs, but hey, that's cool. Shit gets around. Yeah. It's not a fault of flying on airplanes. Okay. So uh, I got this question for you. All right, what's the question? Uh, why are there flotation devices under plane seats instead of parachutes? <laughs> I've always wanted to know. Well, I, t I tell you what. Uh, <laughs> It's because they know that you're not going to live. You're not going to survive. And flotation devices are comforting. The thought of crashing and then being able to float is, is a pretty... That's, that gives you hope. But if they put parachutes on, that's, that's more like uh, kiss your ass goodbye. Whoever can handle this will be able to survive. And so, I mean, it's, it's all about comfort. Really, you're not going to survive a plane crash. I mean, think about, okay, the, the guys from the movie Alive, they survived, but they crashed into mountains and they ate each other. So either way, your story ends horribly. So that, that's what I say. I think you, you pretty much covered it, sir. Yeah. So next caller. Answer. We just answered. We, yeah. Come on now, boy, speak up. I got uh, I I'm getting Yeah, hang guy. up on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> just wasting my time. Okay, let's see what's up here. Hello, sir. Hello. You've got Ray McGuff. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is Elegant Elliot Austin. I'm calling into the Ray McGuff show. You I are. A few things to say. Right now, Ray, listen. You're a disemboweled, dismembered, disenfranchised, dehydrated, diabetic. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'll tell you what. 
Hey, listen here. Let me put on my let me put on my collector voice for you. He's not going to show you're, up. Yeah, you're you're an angry Republican. You're an angry Republican. Oh. <laughs> a victim of hemophilia. <laughs> wow. Well, that sounds like uh, with all these ailments, I must need to see a doctor. <laughs> Big fights, huh? <laughs> well, that's that's great. I'm sure. I'm sure the ladies and the boys are happy with your calf muscles. All right. I'll tell you what. That guy he really does have Whoa. nice. Well, hello. Okay. We need to fire our guy that's passing <laughs> these calls in. But go ahead. Yeah, he's just shooting him in here. Well, I, I'm just pointing out everyday oddities that things we hate. Who the fuck are you to tell me what you hate? You uh, think I give a shit what you hate? Yes. Prob probably if you're watching the show and you took time to call in. What do I have to say back? <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm a degenerate. <laughs> I, I can't. We can't have that. Yeah. Can't have that. Oh, boy. I, I guess when you do a show about hate, there's going to be a lot of hate. So I didn't. I wasn't aware that we I were. Suppose. I thought we were going to have some people that wanted to have a discussion. Uh, I don't. I. I don't know. Uh, I did like the guy that called in. And he called me three Ds, which I still can't. I didn't catch uh, all of it. It was but. a disembodied, disemboweled diabetic. Diabetic. The three Ds. He must have sat around for a while. <laughs> I would say writing that hate speech. <laughs> but yeah, uh, one last call, and all right. this is a female. Okay, finally one of the ladies want to talk about hate. That's see, I thought we'd have a lot more. But. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, you are. On the air with Ray McGuff. Yeah, she's calling in. I really don't have a question. Okay. More of a statement. All right. And I have to say, I find the host of the show so Hey, hey, all right. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, on the Facebook. Uh huh. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. I I would uh, thank you. I am dreamy. Uh, yeah, I've done that before. I could really make it worth your while. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what, what? All right, what's in it for me? <laughs> I think we know. Oh, okay. Well, that's always good to know before a blind date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I'll tell you what. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello? I think we lost, I think we what lost kind, it. What kind of women do you like? Oh, what kind of women do I like to date? Definitely not ones that are going to call in and laugh hysterically <laughs> like a crazy person. And, uh, you know, hey, that I could like. Have, I, that could have been a beautiful lady. It, she moment. might have been a beautiful. I'll tell you what, I would date any woman that wanted to have me. So that's a pretty, <laughs> well, pretty easy question to answer. Broad broad, I don't pigeonhole. It covers the whole canyon. Yeah. If look, if you're you got a pulse and you think you might be fun to talk to, let's 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 chat. All right. Ladies only, right? Oh ladies only. Ladies only. Uh no no hey nothing that there's nothing wrong with anything Just else. Just trying to make sure we're Just getting some letting you know in. my preferences are <laughs> any lady that's breathing. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs>